Alright guys, this is Physiological Adaptations. This is the last of the three adaptations videos we're going to have. Um, so first we're going to define the term physiological adaptations. It's the biochemical change or reaction that occurs within an organism's body. These are pretty simple things that you'll think of and be like, oh, okay, I got that. Um, once we start talking about it, like a rattlesnake. What does a rattlesnake have that helps protect him? Venom. So yes, that's its physiological adaptation. Next, we have a dart frog. A dart frog has its coloration. Its coloration is a warning. It's saying, stay away from me. I am poisonous. So that it warns everybody to stay away from him. Next, we have plants. And you see this plant bending towards the light. That is called tropism. And that is an adaptation that plants have so that they can try to get as much sunlight as possible. And why would they want sunlight? You know the answer. Photosynthesis. They are trying to get sunlight so they can produce their own food through photosynthesis. Next is the stomata. Um, remember when we talked about photosynthesis and we talked about leaf structure? Um, the stomata normally opens during the day and closes at night. It lets um, water in and out when it opens, and then it closes at night to keep it in when there's no photosynthesis because there's no sunlight. But in the desert, the stomata actually does that in reverse because it's so hot there, it keeps it closed during the day to keep the water in, and then at night it opens. Um, a skunk, do you know what a skunk has? What its adaptation is, it's pretty obvious. It smells bad when he sprays or she sprays. Um, and then last, we have the spider. And you know a spider has a web, and the web helps it catch its prey. And then last, we are totally done already. So last, I want you to come up with a physiological adaptation that would help you as a human. You have to name it, explain it, and tell us how it will help you. You're just going to write it on the bottom of this paper under the spider web. And it, you know, it basically it's your own superpower. What your physiological adaptation is, name it, explain it, tell us how it helps you survive. That's it. You're done.